was really old um, this morning, and now I'm going to continue vlogging. I've been baseballing it up for the last couple weeks, and I haven't been vlogging because it's just been a whirlwind. When I say baseballing it up, I've been telling everybody, like, out of 14 days, we were at the baseball fields 12 days. It's been insane. But things are starting to slow down, which means that house projects are starting back up. We kind of took a break from it the last three weeks. Um, left everything kind of where it was. So we're picking back up, starting with Dane's room. He had this white bed that was Kyla's in the old house. Um, it was under her bunk bed. And um, my cousin has a wood bed that kind of matches his desk over there in the corner um, that used to belong to his cousin Tristan. And so we're gonna go get that. We're gonna switch him so that he will have a wood bed to match his wood desk. And then, I don't know, I just kind of want to do something different. I do want to paint, but I, I don't think we're going to paint today because this has just been sort of like a, hey, let's go get the bed today. Even though my cousin Karina had been telling me to get the bed for a while already, um, I just kind of decided today was the day. Honestly, I actually, um, like, my house is a wreck. I'm in the middle of, a, I was going to share my to-do list with you guys and all that, but I figured, let's just get this over with. Let's get it done. I have the boys here with me. I need them. As soon as my mom gets back, um, she ran to go get gas in my dad's truck. So as soon as they get back, we're going to unload my dad's truck, um, all the baseball stuff, back into the shop. And then we're going to go pick up the bed. And I'm just going to have the boys help me. James has been really busy this week, which is amazing. Um, so I had a bunch of to-do lists for James. And I'm like, why am I waiting on James when I have two grown boys who are spoiled rotten who can help me? So... I told them today, it's not going to be scootering around the town today. We have some stuff to do. Just a few things, not a whole lot. I'm not going to take up their whole day, but I am going to ask them to help me with a few things. So, I thought I would share this transition. This is the before. This bed is normally pushed up against there, but we had to uh, clear all that out. We have the snake. He thinks he's going to get rid of this little um, love or couch that we had in the corner. I think it's super cute and like if he has friends over they can sit but he just doesn't like it i'm not gonna make him have something he doesn't want he may change his mind we'll see i was also considering moving this to this wall and the bed to that wall i like that i feel like it would be more privacy like you wouldn't just walk into him sleeping it would be more over to that way so we may do that that's a lot of furniture moving so let me see let's let's get this going. normally look like Marie Kondo. So this is all his clothes. This is pretty much his dresser. It's two filing cabinets. Freaking love them. Best purchase ever because they come in and out and I don't have to worry about them. And they're heavy duty. And he could always, I always tell you guys y'all could collect magnets. Uh, it's not mine. Um, so I think the bed is going to fit here. I'm not sure what we're doing with the desk and the couch. We were saying maybe we would put the couch in that corner. We're not sure yet, but for right now, we are going to go pick up the bed. So here we go. I have bed. I am just going to wipe it all down. Why? It has like a big drawer and stuff. I have this wood cleaner and then I also have this furniture polish. So I'm going to do that out here on the porch patio. 
I didn't get to show y'all in the last video I showed y'all how I cleaned it off but now I like updated it to make it like more my style um but anyways back to the bed I'm gonna finish cleaning it and then we're gonna take it in and I'm gonna attempt to put it together <laughs> better it's so much easier like I'll be able to mop this whenever I mop this hallway and stuff he used to have the chair right here and we just didn't like the situation that was going on so we added a bigger rug we got the new bed which I love that it matches the desk really well now he has all this open space this door is off the tracks I'm gonna see if James can um, put it back uh, but for now, we just kind of have it there. But he has this empty space. He can park his scooter here and all that. And then on this side, he gets a little bit more privacy for his desk area. Hides his, you know, mess, trash can and all that. Um, I am going to be working on his walls soon. We moved his snake to right here under the window. Let me just center it. Okay. Okay. So he has his snake right here under the window and then we went ahead and put his chair here. I'll probably do some stuff on the walls here. I really want to do um, like one of those uh, where it's the high wainscoat. So the paint color comes up a little bit more than half, I believe to about right here. And then they put a shelf right where the paint color ends. And then, you know, we can just put stuff up on, that's what I want to do on this wall. And I want to do a red. We need to buy him some new bedding too. And then the rest of the walls, I'll probably do like a light gray or um, white. I don't, I don't know, you know, this is my oldest. I, I don't know. My youngest, my oldest. The two heart, heart attacks, pains in the butts. Um, but I love the way it turned out so worth the full day's work of course we want to get him some nice boy curtains there that was just up from my mom he's got all his animal crossing and everything eventually i would like to get a, a tv mount but now that it's on this side it doesn't bother me as much and we kind of straightened these out for a while there this was all wonky and it was freaking me out that this might fall down but so i can do some pictures there I think it'll be cute. I have some wall stuff I need to put up. I just haven't gotten around to it, but this is a great uh, refresh. And since I have spent pretty much my entire day working on that, my the rest of my house is a complete disaster. So I'm gonna power clean real quick and then we'll get ready for supper time. Hey guys, it is the next day. Um, I realized like I was halfway through this project like you couldn't even walk in here. And then I realized, oh, I should film it to add to the video of us redoing Dane's room. So as you know, yesterday we redid Dane's room. So when we were done, we couldn't walk down this hallway. We couldn't walk this way. I'm actually trying, sorry if I'm making you dizzy. <laughs> we actually, I'm selling this bed on Facebook. There's the bed. It was in here as well. Um, but I realized I was like, oh my God, I'm halfway through this project. I should video. So what I'm doing is over the course, she wants to say hi. Okay. Um, okay. So over the course of the last few weeks, I have been collecting things pretty much throughout our entire moving process. I've put all home decor storage solutions that I wasn't particularly using and things like that in this room. Can you turn this down just a little bit? Do you have the remote? Just until I'm done talking. Okay, 
So, um, I haven't been able to decorate because this room that we're currently in, my front room, is unfinished. And the way I feel is, I don't know what decor I want on all these walls, so how can I decorate all the other house when I don't know what decor is going where? So, what my goal is, is to clear out this room in some sort of organization, and by that I mean like, I have already put um, some storage bins over here. This is where I'm gonna be putting all of my extra storage bins, and then I will decide where I'm gonna store them because I don't necessarily want to get rid of them. Then over here, I have started to stack all of my wall hangings and mirrors and things like that. And I'm as I'm going through everything, I'm dusting it so that it's nice and clean. And then I have some, you know, just bigger items that I don't really know what I'm gonna do with yet. But I'm gonna try to just kind of get it more organized because what I've been doing is just like, oh, home decor, home decor, home decor, or things that are storage is pretty much all that's here. So I'm gonna go through all of this, try to get this room cleared out so that way maybe this weekend we can start finishing out the walls. We finish out this wall um these walls in the this is uh the dining room and this is the entryway this is our front door here so after i um get these walls finished out i can really decorate the house make it into you know the way i used to have our little house that we lived in before where you guys would see the vlogs i just feel like this isn't even my house like this isn't my style is like that big color um not big but that super colorful blanket I love a, a nice clean slate, like the white walls and stuff, but I really love to incorporate pops of color. Um, a mixture of farmhouse, but Mexican decor is what I've always gone with. I love the Mexican decor, the Mexican pottery, flowers, frames, pictures, everything. I have tons of it because I've always used that style. Since the moment James and I got married, six, uh, 14 years ago, 15 years ago, 14 years ago, 14 years ago um, I've always used that style so for me I'm just getting growing more frustrated that my house isn't decorated yet so that is my goal I'm gonna go ahead and time-lapse you as I go through some of this stuff and then we'll be able to it won't be a true before and after because let me tell you this was this was insane worse than it is now so but you will get a sense of like a before and after so here we go <laughs> the progress I made I'm not sure I gave a very good before but I'm gonna show you guys some of the ideas I have and then I'm just kind of placing things I'm not really decorating because like I said we have to install paneling on all of these walls we're gonna be installing this uh, paneling just so it all matches throughout so let me show you guys what there I was did. a purple dresser here, but I knew that I wanted to put my bench in. This is kind of how I had it at the other house, um, which a part of me was like, do I really want to do it like I had it at the other house? But I just feel like it's appropriate to have a bench when you walk in, sort of like, I don't know. I just like the way it looks. So I may do something different with the walls here. And then I just kind of threw these plants there. Like I said, this is my front door. I did have that long table right here, but I knew that it was just kind of here temporary collecting crap because um, I actually put it over here. This is like an old school 80s acrylic table that my parents had. I'm going to attempt to spray paint it. I don't know what color yet. Um, I'll probably put these set of jugs there under there, but I kind of um, forgot to finish doing that. This is gonna be our bar area. So like I said, I'm gonna probably spray paint that. I'll probably paint these crates. Um, of course, this wallpaper won't be there. At first I considered leaving it as like an homage to the house, but I'm not gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna go in that direction after all. Um, so I just kind of threw stuff in there 
just so I knew like what I would it would look like. These are our um, flutes from our wedding, which I thought were cute. I've had them all these years and never displayed them or kept them out or anything like that. I still have all of this to go through, but if you remember, all of this had stuff. Um, I still need to go through all of this. That mantle needs to go to storage for my mom. I'm not sure about this chair. I may try to sell it um, or ask my mom what she wants to do with it. It was hers and we considered keeping it, but um, I just don't think we are. If I were to keep it, it would need to be reupholstered, which I've considered keeping it and upholstering it in Serape. I think that would be really cute. Um, and then I was thinking I could even like position it right here and have like a little lamp or something, like a sitting area. I don't know. If you can tell, I got rid of a ton of stuff. I'm excited um, to actually have a clear front room it was pretty crazy to like have all this clutter right at the front door, but that's just the best storage place. I put some decor over there. I'm gonna probably throw those in that back room until I figure out what I'm gonna do with them. But this is gonna be my stopping point for today. I will finish up either tonight or tomorrow.